the kingdom of the planet of apes. That's what we're reacting to today. Interesting film. I'll say that this is an installment. This is the fourth film, if I'm not mistaken, that follows the trilogy that of Caesar, the ape who ruled the world. That's what this is supposed to be giving me vibes of. It's supposed to be telling me about the, the, the next stage. In the beginning of the film, I'm spoiling shit now, so get ready. In the beginning of the film, um, Caesar's burial or funeral takes part. I don't know why that's inducted. They could have just written words that many years after Caesar's reign, which they did. But for some weird reason, they felt that they had to, I don't know, show his funeral, him burned and stuff like that. And show his logo, his symbol, whatever. So many centuries pass. So Caesar becomes more of a legend, a myth, a messiah of some sort, you know, a former leader. And his message is taught out to, through various apes with various lessons. Another tribe who initially I thought was the main tribe. It ends up being the main tribe. But I was like, what the hell's going on? This eagle tribe, they raise birds. Basically, they steal eggs off eagles and then they raise the eagles of them their own and they become friends. They become little pets. I still don't know what the eagle do per se. Uh, did they pass around messages? The apes don't write. Um, they can't fucking read. But they speak their language. They, they, so, okay. At first, I, when I saw the apes, I was like, okay, the apes are there uh, getting these eggs so they can have some way of communication over distances you know if you you have your own eagle you write a little message you send it to the tribe distances away that's what i thought but unbeknownst to me these apes cannot write what the hell are the eagles for i don't know what do the eagles actually do i don't know except push a nigga off a cliff towards the end and this girl called may who pretends to be an e echo apparently there's these uh, humans that are called echoes because they don't speak they're a bit like cavemen so these guys call them echoes because they don't build any structures they don't do anything intelligent basically they just live out their lives in the woods basically like cavemen okay makes sense basically they have reverted to being monkeys and the monkeys have reverted to being people they're building structures they they're building society they have leadership they have everything they're perfect they have horses and for some weird reason unbeknownst to me there's a scene where Raka. Uh, the big orangutan, May, and Noah walk into a valley by, by a lake or a river. They spot these echoes, these cavemen, and zebras. And from some fucking weird reason, these two motherfuckers don't know what a zebra is. You live in the wild, my brother. Horses with stripes? You don't know what a zebra is, fam? You've been living in the wild for years. You've never... Okay, well, if you don't know their name, that's fine. But to tell me you don't know what they are, what they... Oh, you know when I saw, when they saw those zebras and I was like, oh, May doesn't have a horse. They're probably going to try to catch a, a zebra for her. And I was like, oh my God, this zebra finna kick them niggas up. They didn't do that. Echoes, other people, cavemen showed up. And then these whole monkeys that showed up. I'm, I'm all over the place. I'm just saying it was weird. They're these bad monkeys that gave vibes of being leaders. You know, the, they're not a monkey, a gorilla. Let's be honest. A gorilla. They're this big ass gorilla fella who's got the vibes of being a leader and every time he does something a heinous something criminal something nasty he says for caesar but caesar's message was ape never kill ape that was the message unless i missed out watching the whole trilogy i don't know what that is but hey rocco whatever his name was was like apes misunderstood his message fine translation lost in translation if a nigga was a, a leader a spiritual leader or a leader of any sort and his message was passed down generation to generation after a while it gets diluted people start adding their own things to push their narrative hmm. Makes sense to me. What the hell was the point of this movie? What was it? May, apparently May's village was killed. Okay. May apparently knows how this facility had. This facility they find at Proximus or Proximus, whatever that guy's the ape who was calling himself Caesar's name was. They get into this vault that has tanks, bro. Tanks, guns, books. Apparently human beings lock themselves in there. But there isn't a single corpse in there. Not a single carcass nothing what did the human beings get out did the virus kill them all what the fuck if the virus killed them all where are the carcasses where are the corpses and for some weird reason 
the tanks are in good condition because they're enclosed in a vault. So that means they're not getting eroded by the water or any of that shit. Okay, it makes sense to me why everything will be looking good and clean in there with a little dust there and there. It makes sense to me. But for what we for some weird reason there are no people there. And this May person shows up, gets into a gun vault or whatever, grabs a gun, a pistol, and a chip. She grabs a chip and then takes it to some remote village. Or remote bunker or remote vault, whatever. I mean, like if your village is killed and you're the only survivor and you know that there's a, a place with, with other human beings who are intelligently as, as you are, you know where they are. Instead of actually going to them and saying, hey, my family died, you go following around a bunch of monkeys you don't know. You go the opposite direction of where you should be going. And somehow you find the thing that will help the society that you've never been with, that you're not even with, prosper. Does that make sense to me? This is the plot hole of this girl. I don't even know why the girl is in the story in the first place. I mean, like, if her family gets massacred by these apes and she happens to know where there's a bunch of other people who have guns and everything and instead of going to them she follows around another monkey gives us the pretense that she's fucking hungry gives us the pretense that she can't talk this is the dumbest shit i ever see in my entire life and hey instead of going to where people all understand her she goes to the opposite direction meets a guy who talks like her ends up killing him just to preserve the secret of the people that she's friends with that we don't know who they are. Finally gets this chip thingy. He gives it to these people and they're suddenly able to control these radio dishes and shit. And communicate with other people and they celebrate. And for some weird reason she doesn't enter the chamber. She's outside washing the dishes. What she's so contaminated they don't want her because she was hanging out with monkeys. What was the point of this? What's the message of this story? I don't even know. Humans want their society back. But they could just live their society on that edge and leave the apes alone. Okay. So there are more humans out there. Fine. May lied to Noah and got him to help her get into this chamber instead of stealing books instead of stealing guns and riding out of the tank she takes a computer chip of some sort or a memory stick or a hard drive a key a universal key of some sort which is weird to me very weird to me so which makes me wonder why what was the point of this whole film but i will say this this film has a lot of great things like the landscaping all oh, the scenery is amazing but this movie felt empty there were a few links to the first movies but they had different themes and the plot i'm not gonna even talk about the plot the plot sucks like for instance the whole flooding of the building or whatever that shit was them apes i don't know if the apes or what they built some sort of dam some sort of bridge some sort of gateway to stop water from you know entering where they live this girl blows up that shit and the water floods in but for some weird reason the water goes 10 stories up sea left where's the water coming from if that water is that enough and couldn't bridge that little bridge that they built. The bridge wasn't even that big. The little dam, not bridge, the little dam they built with sticks and whatever they used wasn't that big. Suddenly they blow it up and it's the hugest thing I ever seen. The floodgates open and it floods a whole building with 10 stories. I'm assuming it was 10 stories. I wasn't counting, counting, but I'm just saying. And it floods it all. I'm supposed to believe that. Oh, get the fuck out of here, man. The guy who created this is dumb as fuck. Like water doesn't do that, fam. It never did and it never will. If a building is next to the ocean, in what universe would the water suddenly rise above its natural sea level, its natural length? You put up a bridge here, the, a, a dam, you put up a dam, the water keeps hitting here, goes back, keeps hitting here, waves, they do that. You break this up and all the water from here goes up. The water here still stays there. It goes up over the wall fills up this side it's not gonna from this level suddenly build up to this level that's preposterous it's impossible it's the dumbest shit i've ever seen in my entire life but i'm supposed to believe this hey the graphics are amazing storyline is trash and i hope they don't do this again i really hope they don't you know what they're gonna do they're gonna do another sequel tell us about the humans uh with the with that little gizmo of theirs and then they're gonna say eh it's all good. Weird. 
am supposed to believe that humans with electricity running perfectly in a highly secluded area are taken over by apes with sticks and shit. Bear in mind that white dude is the one that designed those uh shocking sticks that the apes used on other apes. The only highlight for me was Raka. I think he was the highlight for the film. He was the only ape that I felt was an ape. Everybody else was just a gimmick of a horrible way of doing it. The ending is rubbish. If you have not watched it, maybe you'll go watch it and say, oh my God, this is the most beautiful thing I ever seen. It was not. Giving away stars, you know, like, I'm gonna give this five stars. <sighs> and I was looking forward to watching this movie. And it was so disappointing. The storyline, like I already said, the storyline is crap. I felt no emotion to it. Like, you know, when you watch the old movies, you had, you felt some sort of emotion to the characters. Each and every one of them had a story. Whether it was a villain or what, there was a story to them. You fell in love with them. You hated them. I didn't hate a single one. I didn't like a single one. There was just no emotion. Hey, credit to everyone who worked on this. Everything was great. The script was the only thing that was rubbish. Beg your part. I feel like this was a waste of time, money. Such a letdown. It really is a letdown. Hey, but some people will say this is great. Uh, Noah is the new Caesar. He's the new replacement. Some people will say that. He's the new genius. I just felt like they just... They practically did a reboot. I mean, like, they, they treated Caesar like he was Jesus. I guess he was their Jesus. He was their Messiah. He delivered them from the human. This was so poor, it hurts. I mean, like, even if you watch the old 1968 uh, Planet of the Apes, it's better than this shit. And, and then they had no CGI, my friend. And that shit is better than this shit. Two hours of nonsense. Planet of the Apes, but there are six apes in this thing. Oh, boy. I mean, like, if, if the virus made all human beings primitive that's why you can see human beings drinking waters with zebras and shit but suddenly there's smart humans there are smarter ones like me who are sophisticated enough who have all the information about the ancient world apparently but it's been a hundred years fam 50 years i don't know it's been a long time since caesar passed and rem bear in mind when caesar was around there were remnants there were few human beings who could read and write there were few, most humans were soldiers and shit because they needed to fight to survive. Human beings had small colonies. They keep dying. They kept dying away because of viruses and shit. But I'm supposed to believe that now humans are dumber. And then there's this king who wants uh, better things for the apes, but sends people to kill apes. He kills other apes. Oh, man, this movie is an abomination to the series. Don't waste your money watching this, man. Ah. Uh. I, I can't even say anything more about my disappointment. This, when I think about the scenes, when I think about the moments, I'm just like, oh my God. They just wanted to make money, man. Very disappointing. And, and to think that Planet of the Apes is one of my favorite movies. They should have just let it die, man. They should have just let it die. They're doing what Fast and Furious do. Just keep making m movies because people watch them, but you can't even come up with a decent fucking story, fam. Huh. Okay, that's enough. It's enough negativity for one day. Go watch it. You'll enjoy it. Don't watch this shit, man. I beg of you. Don't watch it. You know what? They, ah, this film, bro. It's a disappointment. Like, it have The guys who did the... Uh, everything. I mean, everything besides the script was rubbish. That this is... Ah, and pretended that we know. I'm telling you, the only interesting character was that orangutan, Raka. Raka, whatever his name was. No one. But this was poor, bro. Now that was entertaining. Please let us hang out yet another time. Remember to like and subscribe. Adios, folks. Adios.